David Highland here from Highland Property Group. I've got Cameron Jones from Innovate Architects, Alan Samet from Samet Developments. And we're here to obviously present um, an exciting project that we've all been working on for a number of years now, um, the loft development at 28 Belmont Street, Sutherland. Um, Alan, I'm gonna start with you first. So, you know, from a luxury point of view, you've dominated the Cronulla market for, for more than 30 years. What was the appeal? in coming to this location. And the second question is, you know, where did you see the opportunity? It started with the brand's appeal. Um, we fought uh, long and hard as to where else we could situate our brand in, in an area that we could see as, as um, needing change and, 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 and ready for change. And Sutherland being classed now as an urban centre, we thought, well, Sutherland would be the ideal location to put our brand. We worked um, quite extensively with council and in um, designing this project as a gateway site and um, hopefully encouraging other developers to lift their mark and, um, and lift, lift the ante up here in Sutherland as well. Can we just quickly talk about the mix? So um, there's 33 three bedroom apartments in the DA and at the time we were kind of like well what, what, what is the take up? What will be the take up of, of three bedroom apartments, particularly three bedroom luxury apartments? Um, just keeping in mind that um, one of the first sales was a $1.6 million three bedroom apartment, which I, I don't know that it had ever been done in Sutherland. No. Um, well, we had a lot of discussion in, in regards to what is the offering in Sutherland, and I just see our brands always appealed to the owner occupier. Downsizes. And the downsizes, and again, here in, 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 in a block of 67, we've only had one buyer from out of the Shire, and that was a San Susie buyer. So they're all close locals wanting to downsize and live, you know, the apartment lifestyle in an apartment of, um, of, of size and, and quality. Um, Cameron, over to you. So what's your vision for Sutherland and, and how do you see this area changing at the moment? And then how does that relate to a luxury offering um, that, that you guys have done together? We see it as a fantastic location. It's so central to the Shire, it's central to the National Park. Um, easy access to Cronulla and more importantly such easy access to public transport in the city. So we were really excited when Alan and John came to us and said look we found this site. The site was just such an opportunity, the uninterrupted views, the, the gateway entrance to Sutherland, uh, proximity to shops and cafes, restaurants. It's a great, great location and we saw it as a great opportunity to get involved in. Mm. We were really excited that we were able to put the Summit brand um, into Sutherland and, and Alan's brief to me was basically set a new benchmark and I actually I think we have I think I we've think been we able have. to do it. No, yeah. I definitely think you've achieved that yeah. and that kind of leads me into the, the next question and, and that's regarding um, the next project that um, you, you know you guys are involved in together and um, we're very proudly going to be marketing as well and that's the dwell development um, which we're, we're going to be commencing between now and spring. Tell us a bit about that Cameron. Again, um, really excited and, um, and, and this is one that we worked incredibly close with with Council. Um, we've tied in with a, a, an existing heritage home, um, which is again it's a great been amazing site. to work with. Mm. It's an incredible site, great outlook, great aspect, um, all north facing apartments, which it's is quiet. Oh, it's very rare to get. It's really been a special project and again, um, we saw the success in being able to put quality into Sutherland. Um, we think we've raised that benchmark slightly. Again, um, again yeah, we yeah. think we're, we're going to produce something really, really special. And again, the apartments and the balconies and the outlook and the light is going to be incredible. Mm. Really excited, actually. Alan, let's just quickly run through what that project is. And, and, and this, this, is, this is pretty special. So um, let's talk unit numbers, roughly what the mix is, and then talk about some of the facilities. Well, we've got 46 apartments um, in this one, over seven levels. Um, the higher levels do have the city views, um, like we do over here. Otherwise, it's a quiet corner, corner site uh, in the leafy area. We've got a mix of one bedders ranging between 50 square metres up to 65, 69 square mm, metres. That's a huge one better. Yeah. Our two bedders are oversized again. We're, we're, they're ranging probably between 80 to 95 square metres. There's a couple of really big apartments as well in, the, in yeah, that mix. Yeah, and then and then we've got the three bedders again with media rooms and all, which we found here was one of the, the biggest sellers in Loft was the fact that they had the second living room. Uh, I'm most excited about those sky homes that we've been talking about. Yeah. Run us through what they look like. Yeah. Well, up on top, four, four exclusive apartments which are 
over and above the rest. That, um, First ever Sky Home in Sutherland. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. size wise, they're about 130. 130, 135 internal. square yeah. meters, yeah, internal. And, and, in a, and a competitive price point. I believe so. Yeah. And again, something that hasn't been done, we've been able to create this amazing communal space mm. with this indoor pool and facilities, mm. and it, it's going to be something really special. Um, a great project. Guys, congratulations on Loft, and looking forward to getting started with the Undwell. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.